All right, so we're, I'm going to show you real quick how you can do a 10 print card at home. Uh, so basically, uh, you're just going to have printed out a, a copy of a 10 print card or something similar to this. If you don't have a printer at home, you can just sort of replicate this on a plain old white piece of paper, um, just kind of hand draw it. Basically, you just need 10 spaces for each of your 10 fingers, an extra space at, below for left and right thumbs, and then actually for a larger space at the bottom for a, a, the palm print or the four finger print. So what I'm going to do now, so the only other materials that you're going to need, if you have an ink pad, that by far would work out the best. But if you don't have an ink pad at home, that's okay. You could still do this activity. You'll need either just a plain old pencil, or you could also use a marker, uh, not a permanent marker, but maybe like a waterproof marker, like an Expo marker, or even a highlighter would work just fine. If you don't have one of those at home, you could even use something like, um, like cinnamon. So you could actually coat your fingers in cinnamon and then that will actually transfer onto paper reasonably well. So I'll just show you sort of the different versions that you can use to make this activity work. An ink pad obviously would be the best and I've uh, posted some videos or linked some videos on the activity sheet that will help you do uh, the 10 print card using the ink pad as if you were an actual fingerprint collector. So I'm going to just show you using, I'll show you with uh, my index finger, so my right index finger. The first thing is you could just create a really dark uh, bunch of graphite under the paper. So I'll just sort of angle this down so you can see. So you're just going to color in really dark under the graphite paper. And basically, you're just going to take your finger and sort of rub it on that graphite. And it's going to just transfer some of that graphite onto your finger. All right, then it's ideal if you have a, a partner to help you with this, but you can, you're, you're not supposed to take your own prints, but we're going to just do it for this because it's just an activity sort of showing you how to do it. Typically, you would roll from most uncomfortable position to more comfortable position. So kind of from sort of uh, kind of cocking your finger this way and then rolling it around. And you're going to have to press pretty hard. So it will, I'll share if you can see this on here, but it did actually transfer. It's, it's a little faded, but that's okay. Like I said, it's enough for this particular activity. The other thing you could do is take a marker, and I've just got like an Expo marker here. So I'll do this on another finger that I have. Uh, I did this one already, so I'll do it again. Uh, so basically just coat your finger with that, again, waterproof marker. You don't want to use a Sharpie for this. And as soon as it's coated, you don't want to let it, you don't want to give it any time to dry. As soon as it's coated, you're then going to, again, press and roll your finger. And it will have transferred over. They, they might not be the most beautiful looking fingerprint transfers, but the idea is that you'll be able to visualize what patterns you have. All right, so those are just a couple ways you can do this with pretty much your standard office supply materials. If you have an ink pad, that will work way better. You'll see a lot more de uh, details in your fingerprint. But if you don't have an ink pad at home, you could still either you just use a plain old pencil, use the graphite from a pencil, or use a marker highlighter and basically you just coat your finger and then as soon as long as your finger is still kind of wet and it hasn't dried, that marker will transfer over onto your 10 print card. Make sure you take a quick selfie. So snap a picture of yourself with your 10 print card and then that's what is going to go onto that slide for credit for this activity.